What's up, Rage Nation? How's it going? This is Alex. You watching a Rage Nation show, Transformers Four Edition? This is just a web series. We're talking about all things that matter. Me for production, fourth installment of the live action Transformers film franchise, directed by Michael Bay. This update number one hundred and seven. And in this episode, we're not going to talk about the teaser trailer anymore. We're done talking about it. I did two twenty-minute episodes talking about it, breaking it down shot for shot. So let's move on and let's go back to talking about the toys. Now I'm not going to talk about Toy Fair. I'm going to talk about what Takara has to offer. Japan has their own offerings, their own exclusives in the form of a line called the Takara Transformers Lost Age Movie Advanced line. And I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. What I'm going to do right now is show you some new shots of two Autobots that we've already seen from Toy Fair and that would be Crosshairs and Bumblebee in his 1967 mode. And let's start off with Bumblebee, all right? So we have him in his alt mode and it's a great looking alt mode. Great looking vehicle, the Camaro looks great and I have no problems with it. But what I do have a problem with is his robot mode and it's just messy the chest is messy there's just too much stuff going on it's very busy and it just looks ugly so i'm not a fan of that at all i'm gonna have to say it's a pass a very easy pass for me and maybe some of you guys like it but i'm going to completely pass i'm going to save my money i don't want a 1967 bumblebee in robot mode but his camaro mode does look good now moving on let's talk about crosshairs and Crosshair's vehicle mode is really quite simple. It doesn't have the uh, lightning paint job that the, um, the, the actual concept, I mean, the uh, actual Corvette C7 has, but it still looks good. You got the black in the top, the spoiler, and then the green, and then on his robot mode, still looks pretty good. I like the way he looks, but I find that um, his little uh, trench coat drapes, <laughs> they kind of uh, look a little funny they look a little bit funny and uh but it it, it does still look all right all right uh, i like it i like uh, i like the crosshairs and i can tell that his transformation is going to be a little simpler than bumblebee they're less complicated parts here i mean as you can tell like his whole chest is just one or rather his torso is just one whole piece right so because of that it looks like the transformation is going to be pretty simple and very very cool this is this is a pretty decent robot mode his 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 trench coat uh, drapes is, is a little bit weird because it's on the side as opposed to on the back of him maybe you know it can move around maybe this is just a mis mistransformation but at least it shows you that it does it is able to do that so not too bad i'm definitely picking up crosshairs now let's talk about the takara transformers lost age movie advance line and Instead of just showing you guys and explaining to you guys each individual character toy, I'm going to rank them for you from top 10, I mean from number 10 to number 1. Number 1 being my favorite one and the one I'm going to pick up uh, for sure. All right, so uh, I, th I think that ranking them would be a little more interesting than just listing them out. All right, so let's do that and uh, let's start off with number 10 and that would be Jolt. Now, Jolt is a character I'm definitely going to not buy because, first of all, Jolt is a character that I had absolutely no connection with. Uh, Jolt had very little screen time in Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, and uh, he, while he did connect Jetfire's parts with Optimus Prime, that was his only shining moment. Now, as a toy, they made a more accurate version because he comes with his accurate movie-accurate whips. <laughs> Who really cares? <laughs> so... Easy pass for me. No jolt for me. Number nine is Starscream in his more movie accurate colors. Now, Starscream in Transformers Dark of the Moon and Transformers Revenge of the Fallen or... Uh, I don't know if in Revenge of the Fallen he had a deluxe class toy, but in Transformers Dark of the Moon he had a deluxe class toys toy with, with the tattoos on him. The alien Cybertronian tattoos. Now, this time, it's, it's more accurate 
to to the, the G1. Uh, no, it's not G1. It's more accurate to the first movie, okay? And that is, it's all plain, all right? It doesn't have all those alien tattoos on him. So uh, it's not too bad. I think the, the, the robot mode is decent, and it just looks a lot better without those tattoos. So it's pretty decent. I don't know if I'm going to be picking him up, but he does look all right. Number eight is Bumblebee, and uh, he is a metallic redeco of the Battle Blades Bumblebee. And I have to say that um, for a metallic paint job, it looks pretty cool. Now Takara is known, uh, is quite famous for repainting their, their, their Transformers to be more metallic than their Hasbro counterparts. And I think that this looks pretty decent. I still am on the fence on whether or not I'm gonna pick him up, but I like that the metallic paint job does make him look a little bit better because it really strays it away from the yellow plastic look. All right, so there you have it. Moving on, let's uh, number seven is the Legends Class Devastator toy. Oh, what happened here? Uh, what, what the hell? What is going on here? How come? How come? How come my the the thing changed? <laughs> okay, uh, let me pull that uh, file up again. Okay. So moving on, we have the Legends Class, or rather Easy Collection Devastator with movie accurate paint jobs. Now there was there was the uh, the the, um, uh, the 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 Hasbro version where you had to buy them individually, and then there was the Takara version where you bought them as a set, and they called it the Easy Collection. And then they had the repaint version with the G1 colors. Well, I have to say that based on this photo, this looks the best. Now, if you don't already know, this version of Devastator is not only more, more, more uh, 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 movie accurate, uh, has movie accurate paint jobs, but it's more accurate in the sense that it's physically accurate because it comes with seven Constructicons, which have like vehicle modes and it also has robot modes. So this is as movie accurate as it gets, okay, for a Devastator. And I'm going to have to say that I would, I would be interested in picking this one up, all right? All right, so that's number seven. Number six is Optimus Prime in his protoform mode. And this looks pretty decent. Now he's got the G1 colors, you know, like with the blue and red and a little bit of uh, a silver. But uh, what I don't really like about him is his feet, okay? It looks like, a, like, like he's got like a, it looks like animal feet. <laughs> And um, it, it doesn't make sense as a redeco because as a protoform he wouldn't be these colors. As a re uh, as as a, I mean, if you're talking about movie accuracy, he would only be like silver, okay, or like some kind of plain color. Like he wouldn't arrive on Earth as a comet in red and blue because he hasn't scanned his truck form yet. So, <laughs> so there you have it. But still, it looks pretty decent as a repaint, okay. Now. Uh, number five is Ratchet. Now, Ratchet had a deluxe class toy as the green, uh, the green uh, modified ambulance, you know, the, the medical vehicle. But this is a G1 redeco, and he looks pretty cool. I, I'm gonna have to say that it looks all right, and uh, I wouldn't mind having a Ratchet toy like this. I, I've never gotten a Ratchet uh, ever, right? So I think it would be cool to have him because. I could add them to my team of Autobots. <laughs> so that's number five for you. Number four is a very creative redeco. I have to say it's the most creative because it's 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 uh, the Mountain Dew bot. Now they don't have the license for Mountain Dew, so they're calling it Mountain Mood Whiplash. <laughs> and it is a repaint and re re retooling of Payload. Payload was that um, kind of like, like an armored truck all right, and in the, I think the Transformers Dark of the Moon line. And what they did is that they, they, they repainted him green and they gave him a dispensor, like a dispensor gun where he shoots pop cans. So there you have it. I think that's pretty cool because I think that the concept of a Mountain Dew Decepticon was pretty cool. So that's pretty creative. It's still a repaint and retooling, but still pretty cool, okay? So that's number four. Number three is the Deluxe Class Optimus Prime. Now, I already have the best Optimus Prime, in my opinion, and that's the, the Takara APS-01, uh, 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 the Optimus Striker Optimus Prime uh, from their Premium Edition line. 
and this looks pretty cool. I like the fact that it's a it's a deluxe with the premium edition uh, paint jobs because it's got metallic. Uh, it's got all the chrome and the you know the metallic paint on it, and it, it's cool, man. It it looks good. So I think that I might have to get this guy. Number two is what they're calling Dark Side Soundwave. Now Soundwave was a very hard deluxe class toy to get, even for a Takara toy. Okay, like even like if you're just buying the Takara version, not a lot of stores carried it. All right, and you could buy it on eBay, but it was pretty expensive, so he was pretty hard to find. Now, Soundwave in the original Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class toy from Takara was pretty plain. He didn't have a whole lot of paint on him. In fact, he was just gray. But as a Vico mode and as a robot mode, he was pretty awesome. Now, him as the dark side uh, Soundwave looks pretty cool in black and silver. I like it. I don't know if I'm going to pick them up mainly because I already have a Soundwave and I don't like just buying repaints. But I'm going to have to say that he does look really good in these in this, this uh, repaint. Okay. Now finally, number one is a repaint, of course, and a retooling once again. And it's Dino. Now, um, Transformers, or rather Hasbro and Takara, they still, don't, they still are not able to get a license to make... A, a toy, a, a character toy out of Ferrari, okay, out from Ferrari. And because of that, well, they can't actually make the Dino figure. But there's a way to work itself around that, that, that obstacle, and that is use another car, <laughs> and use another existing mold that they're allowed to use, and then make that into Dino. Now, Dino... Even though he's a Ferrari, he was known for two things. Having his head, having his really unique looking head, and also his blades, okay? So that is what we have here. It's a repaint of Sideways in all red, okay? But in the robot mode, you got his head, which is really cool. I really like his head. I think it's very neat. It's very different from all the other ones. Um, and he looks very evil looking. But what's really cool is that he has the blades on the arms, on the forearms. So I really like that. That's a must get for me. And I think that the sideways toy to begin with is actually a pretty cool toy. I, I like him. I, I like it as a deluxe class toy. And I think it's even better looking. Well, it's not even better looking, but at least it is a good looking toy um, as, a, as, 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 a, as Dino in red with, with blades and a new head. So there you have it. There are my, there, these are my, this is my ranking for the movie advance line. Um, why don't you guys let me know what are your top 10 and will you be picking up both 1967 Bumblebee and Crosshairs or just one or the other? I'm going to be picking up Crosshairs for sure. Easy pass for me on Bumblebee. And that's all I got to say in this video. And I'm still not sure which, like which from these 10 I'm going to get for, but for sure, definitely Dino. And um, and maybe and, and definitely the Devastator because I don't even have that, but uh, all the other ones are still iffy on me, and uh, I I guess I have to wait till I see them in person. All right, and there you have it. That's all I gotta say in this video. As always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Raging Nation, follow me on Twitter at Raging Nation, and also check out my photos on Instagram at The Raging Nation. My name is Alex Yu. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for episode 108 where we're going to once again talk back about the movie. All right, so there you have it. I'll see you next time. Peace. And let's park. Now, the crazy part is that history is kind of repeating itself because this is the same Walmart, which is the first store that I hit up when the Dark of the